Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly from Signature Solar, and today we're diving into some of the most frequently asked questions about Tygo's fire safety rapid shutdown modules, the TS4AF and TS4A2F. We'll cover what these modules do, how they work, why you might need them, and how to integrate them into your system cost effectively. Let's get started. These modules, also called MLPEs, are designed to enhance the safety of your solar installation by ensuring rapid shutdown capabilities in case of an emergency. But what is an MLPE in solar? MLPE stands for Module Level Power Electronics. These are devices that are installed at the solar module level to optimize performance, monitor output, and in this case, provide rapid shutdown capabilities. Rapid shutdown involves safety protocols that significantly lower the risk of electrical shock during emergency maintenance or by quickly reducing the voltage in PV modules to safe levels. This ensures the safety of first responders and technicians. All the Tygo Rapid Shutdown MLPEs meet the NEC 690.12 Rapid Shutdown specifications from 2014, 2017, and 2020 when installed on each PV module. So, how does Tygo Rapid Shutdown work? It's pretty simple. In the event of an emergency such as fire, the fire-rated Tygo Rapid Shutdown modules immediately cut off the flow of electricity from the solar panels, making the system safe for first responders. This is especially important because solar panels can generate high voltages even when the grid goes down. Let's take a deeper look. Both the F and the 2F units, which we'll discuss next, use PLC, or power line communication, via the use of the RSS transmitter to meet certification requirements and operate as intended. The RSS transmitter emits a keep alive signal until a shutdown has been initiated. Once the shutdown has been initiated, this kills the keep alive signal, shutting down the TS4, reducing each PV module's voltage to 6 tenths of a volt in less than 30 seconds. It then works to discharge the complete array to comply with NEC code. Some inverters, such as the EG4 18K PV Hybrid or the Schneider MPPTs, already have built-in transmitters, eliminating the need for the separate RSS. Another thing to note is that the F modules cannot be used in the same PV system using a common inverter with the O or S units because of the different communication methods used to meet shutdown requirements. Installing Tygo Rapid Shutdown Modules is a straightforward process. You simply slide the clips that are attached to the module onto the frame of the solar panel, connect it to the PV module's output cables, and run the wire to your inverter or combiner box. It's a simple process that ensures your system is safe and compliant with current regulations. Let's take a look at how easy this installation can be. Installing these modules is a breeze thanks to their user-friendly plug-and-play design with the M4 connectors. They can easily be integrated into both new and existing solar systems, plus they're compatible with a wide range of solar panels and inverters, ensuring flexibility and convenience during the setup. Here's the magic. These components are designed to be easily slid onto the frame of your PV module. The teeth on the module itself dig into the frame, becoming its grounding point. This ingenious feature eliminates the need for an extra grounding wire, simplifying your installation process and saving you time and effort. Once on the frame, simply plug in the short wires into your panel wires, matching positive cables and negative cables. The longer wires are then available to connect your PV modules in series or parallel as desired. Compared to other solutions that can take hours to commission, the TS4 system allows you to complete the commissioning process in under 10 minutes. That's a significant time-saving advantage and lets you get more done in less time. Now, why would you need to add a Tygo Rapid Shutdown module to your system? All rooftop installations in the U.S. require some kind of rapid shutdown capabilities. If you have a rooftop solar system, particularly one that's more than a few years old, 
it might not have a built-in rapid shutdown capability. Adding a Tygo module ensures your system complies with the latest safety standards and provides peace of mind. Let's check them out. Now let's move on to the Tygo TS4 AF and 2F rapid shutdown modules. Both of these components are IEC and UL certified as they continue to meet the NEC requirements for rapid shutdown. The F module, where the F stands for fire safety, excels in rapid shutdown. It is PVRSS certified, meaning that it has been tested and UL certified with hundreds of the top inverter models. This unit, like the O, is also rated for up to 700 watts per solar panel. Let's talk cost effectiveness. How could using Tygo Fire Modules be a cost-effective solution for your solar setup? While there is an upfront cost to adding these modules, they can save you money in the long run. By ensuring your system meets current safety standards, you avoid potential fines, make your home safer, possibly lowering insurance costs. Now let's talk about the Tygo TS4A 2F module. The 2F means that this one unit can connect to two modules and is rated for fire safety. This module has all the same features and benefits of the F meeting NEC rapid shutdown requirements with slightly different specs, which can be seen on the module spec sheets. This unit is rated for up to 1000 watts, which is 500 watts per solar panel or channel. The 2F may be a more cost-effective solution because of the additional advantage of allowing you to connect two panels with one unit. But Kelly, you ask, what if I don't have an even number of PV modules in my stream? Well, there's a simple solution, two actually. So with the 2F module, I'm gonna connect two solar panels. I'll connect one here, and then I have an uneven number of panels. What am I gonna do with these last two that are hanging off? One of my solutions is that I can combine a single with all the other ones that have doubles and finish out my string. The other option I have is if this is connected, I can simply plug these last two connectors into themselves and we're ready to go. This module also requires an RSS transmitter to operate appropriately, but remember, as we talked about before, it may also be built into other inverters. The 2F is a very cost-effective solution reducing labor cost as well as BOS, or balance of systems, since you only need one unit for every two PV modules. Don't forget, we've covered the entire range of Tygo Rapid Shutdown modules in a previous video. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out for a comprehensive overview of all the options available. Safety should always be a top priority when setting up a solar system. The Tygo TS4AF and TS4A2F modules provide an efficient, cost-effective solution to ensure your system is up to code and safety requirements. So how do you know if this is for you? Remember, the O represents optimization. This unit is for you if you have any shading or other factors that might affect your efficiency output. The S represents rapid shutdown and monitoring. The F represents fire safety. If you want the cheapest and simplest solution to meeting the NEC 690.12 rapid shutdown requirements in case of fire, but you don't need optimization and monitoring, the TS4AF or 2F is the choice for you. The 2F may be your best choice if you have a really large system. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below or visit our website. For more products, installation guides, tips, tricks, and insights into your solar journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel. This way, you'll always stay updated with the latest information. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone. We'll see you next time.